Over the past few days, we have returned to live streaming PUBG on Twitch. And in an effort to change it up a little bit, I've been ending streams by watching clips of viewers and analyzing exactly how they play. The other day, we had a pretty interesting endgame clip to check out. And it turned into a 15-minute conversation about how to analyze and break down the endgame situation you may be in. Now, I didn't go through and edit it too much, but I figured it was a pretty good watch, and I just wanted to share it to YouTube. If you guys have any clips or team fights you want me to check out, head over to twitch.tv slash jabroni, catch me when I'm live, and I'll give it a little analysis for you. Until then, enjoy the video. Oh, there's Sneak. There's Sneak Center. Stole two. The 1v2 on then shoot to kill, bro? I don't actually know where the points went, but I'm that great at tracking 64 players. This is, yo, sneak, sneak, sneak. Nice. This is good. You see what you're doing right now? You creeping up? That's good. I like that. That's super good. They have no idea where you are, right? So as soon as they're in this fight, you push in a position where you get a free knock. That's the idea, right? The, the idea is they start peeking, they spread out too much, they try and get information and get control, you get a free knock, right? Knock tomb. But now... It is just a two. <coughs> While that was happening, sneak attack, push. Towards they don't have a the fucking center. clue. And he actually has so much information right now. SDK have virtually zero. They know it's a two v one, so they have a man advantage. But as far as where they need to peek, all in, I, all in, all in. I wouldn't back off though. I, I would have stayed. Man, he, I think he's moving too much. Oh, he's oh, I would have stayed. You were chilling up there. I would even move back to a rock. That was happening. Let's see. The points went push towards the center and he actually has i would be on this rock probably or on this tree or like right here because you gave up your advantage when you went back down and they saw you right all right back sorry i went to get food uh, i watched your clip but we'll, we'll uh, watch it again so you can yeah it was just a bunch of people flying all over the place it was a fucking disaster so much information right now sdk have virtually zero they know so i yeah i would literally stay right in here even if you have to prone I would stay right in here somewhere on the right side. Just inside circle, make them come to you. Even better if they go downhill to the right. Like, like say they keep going down this way. You peek up behind them. No, it's a 2v1. So they have a man advantage. Because but as far as the, the, the idea is you knock one when the other one can't see you. So even if one of them just peeks over and you knock one, the other one either has to come over and peek you or whatever. I don't know. It, it gives you an opportunity. Where they need to peek, all, in, I, all up in the air. They're I doing pretty good at staying on top of each other. He's moving too much. Oh, he's oh moving God, spotted. Too much. They spotted him. He's a dead man now. I'm calling it right now. Mm, I'm not cutting him up. I actually don't think they did spot him. It doesn't they look like they didn't know. spot him. See, and they do exactly what you would have wanted them to. If you're up here, imagine you're still up here and Civ runs this. Or even you get Luke on the uh, a second one. So you knock one, and then you can wrap the whole back of the circle safely and set up a 1v1. Or just even take you know, take the fight there. So if you're still here, you obliterate Civ, probably. Oh, he blended in with the, with the grass too much. Wait, it's good though that you peek wide two, left if you have one go down, right? SDK is split right now. If he can get one knock, he's sent So even in this situation, you have one going down this way, so you're just peeking this left just to try and get one, right? Actually makes it into a one v one, and this it's winnable. It's definitely winnable for him. It's winnable, but I don't see SDK. Oh, you didn't see Civ. That much. Oh, the shots, can can the shots weren't the bad. The shots weren't bad though. Heartbreaking. This is the right play, though. He's got to move. He's got to move, and he's got to find that knock on Luke. Uh, he's gonna choose to back I don't up. mind backing up yeah, there I after missing that. I think that's fine. Opportunity to somewhat consolidate and recover, which it looks like they're doing. And now it's still going for a wide angle. You got to get the knock there, though. Second time he missed it. Is, can third time be the charm? Every single time, though, he has to fall away. And that just gives more ground for he's SDK to take. Now. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Keep going. Keep going. Right. That's fine. There you go. That's super good. Now, when you get that knock, you need to run instantly, either towards him or something. Cause right, I can see you're going behind the rock. You're fucking dead. Third time's the charm. He finds it, makes it into a one v one. I don't know what the scores were like though. So like, I say that, but 
hypothetically, if you need a point or two or you're trying to get every point you can, it makes sense to flush. But if it's me, when I get that knock, I know Luke's up top because I shot him before. I run at this guy. I run at him to take his spot and the uh, flush. But as you mentioned, he's still not in the circle, trying to finish the kill before he goes up again. Because, like, right now, you could probably be there. Luke maybe kills you on the way, but I think it's worth the try. Luke has a high ground advantage. It, will he expect the peak over pride rock that Luke is trying to employ? Oh, he gave himself away. He now knows where he is, but he's still taking luck. He's still in the circle. He's holding the line. Oh, headshot! Oh, nice headshot. Did you know you headshot him there? Yep. Run right. Don't prone. Because a few things are going to happen, right? There's, there's only three options, right? Peek it again. Take a first aid. Run. And, and reposition, right? Those are your three options. And it's interesting. It's literally like rock, paper, scissors, right? Hold on. Let's, uh... All right. So let's say you guys are in a 1v1 situation at the end of a game, right? So you have three options. You can... How do you, how do you text? Okay. You can reposition. You can... Uh... Peek again. You can heal. So in this situation, right? You have three options. And the reason you have three... And this is based off of if you headshot one another, right? So let's say me and you are in a fight. We're in a 1v1. This is a 1v1 fight. And we both get damage on each other. Okay? Okay? If you peek and you take a headshot, the first thing you're doing is you're coming back behind cover. The first thing you're doing. And then you have to think to yourself, okay, I have three options. And these are it. There's nothing else you can do. You either reposition, heal, or peek. There's no other option. So if you reposition, you run out in the open, right, to move somewhere else. One of my favorite things to do. Okay? Okay. One of my one of my favorite things to do. So let's say in that situation. Wait, how do I get out of text now? Fuck, bro. Okay, here. Sorry, I'm not I'm not a fucking paint all star here. All right. But the issue is, if you reposition, you're gonna die to somebody that peaks again. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. If you reposition, you're gonna die to someone that peaks again. Right? However, if you reposition, you're going to kill someone that takes that time to heal. Right? If you take that time to heal and the other person peaks again, you're going to kill them because you're now at full HP and they're one shot. So in this situation... It's literally rock, paper, scissors. That's what it is. There's no right answer to say, oh, you, should, you shouldn't heal, or oh, you shouldn't do this, oh, you shouldn't do that, da-da-da-da-da. However, however, I'm a firm believer that the confident play is repositioning. Because most people, and especially at lower uh, levels, like when you play against shoot to kill there, to be honest, if you reposition, Luke probably peaks you and kills you. So at, at high level, it might be a little different. But um, I like the reposition, especially if you're playing pubs, because everybody just goes behind a thing in first aids, and then all of a sudden you're all the way around them. You guys saw it if you were here for the Sandhawk game, the only game that I did good, when I was playing that that guy with the Groza, when I actually shot him and put damage out, I ran downhill and underneath him. And I came up behind him. Easiest kill of my life, right? Because I used that time to reposition while he was healing.
So he stopped the heal and I moved. Now, when you're at super high levels, people will just peak again. Um, you'll see it a lot at like, you know, PGC. And if you watch those clips of fights, it'll be people at like 10, 15, 20% HP, but they will just peak again. That's just what they'll do. Um, it's very, very common because people know, you know, let's, let's think about this for a second, right? Let's say I'm in a 2v1. Okay. So, sorry, my paint skills are, uh, all right, so here's a tree. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to draw a tree. Oh, that was a straight line. That was pretty good. So here's a tree. Uh, and it's going to be a little jabroni behind it. And let's say there's a rock here, too. So I got some pretty good cover, right? So I'm chilling, right? And there's two guys down here. I don't give a shit who you guys want to pretend they are, but there's two guys down down here, right? <clears throat> so here's what happens. If you take opening damage, hold on, I'll touch on that in a second, Richie. So in this situation, <clears throat> there's a lot of ways to look at this, right? I'm at a disadvantage because I'm in a 1v2. Let's say the player on the right uh headshots me so let's say this guy fucking lasers me right here boom lasered and i take damage right <coughs> this team needs to stop me from healing so they're gonna push whether it be both around the same direction uh both left both both right it doesn't matter they're gonna push me that's what they're going to do right if they don't they're giving me time to heal, and then the fight just resets. That doesn't make any sense. So knowing that they're going to push, rather than healing, I take my time and I repeat, right? That way, say I get a knock, then all of a sudden it's a 1v1. Now I can heal and everything, and then I'm in a 1v1 because this guy's got to try and get that res. So that's a situation that repeaking is just really, really strong. Healing is the worst thing you could possibly do there because then they're on your fucking rock, and you're fucking dead. All right. So it's very situationally based, but if you're in a 1v1, it's just rock, paper, scissors, dude. That's just what it is. And a lot of times you got to think of the mentality of the other player there. Like, I bet you if you reposition there, Luke peeks you again and kills you. I really think that would happen. However, that's what I would have done. Uh, okay. If you take opening damage in team fights, healing and repeeking is slightly more effective. If you take opening damage in team fights so what in, in like a 4v4 or something I don't think I think in team fights it's it's way different because the fight doesn't open up until somebody pushes <coughs> Let's say you're holding a hill in a forest on Sandhawk. A team comes up from the side and hits an opening headshot on you. Well, you heal because you have your team covering for you. <coughs> it's very likely that someone will move off of that headshot and be open to a repeat. See, I don't agree in the in the sense of uh, team fights because I think in a team fight, your team should be there to make sure they don't push you. It's the same thing as if I'm in a compound and I get headshot and I get knocked, right? And, and, and I get car 98 -ed. Everybody else in that building beside one person should instant res me. The other two guys need to look in that direction and make sure they're not pushing. If I get headshot, I have all the time in the world to sit there and heal. And I could tell somebody like, yo, I'm headshot, cover, make sure they don't run. Right? It's the same thing if I'm in a forest and I get headshot behind a tree. Instantly, I would be like, yo, I'm headshot. Somebody make sure these guys don't run from east. Make sure we don't get pushed from east. It's a weird game, but those are your real only options when you're in most fights. Um, 
in team fights, it, it gets a little more extreme because you can, you know, push multiple guys to one side. You know, you can utility off. You can smoke off. Uh, there's there's a lot of different options. But in a in a 1v1, it really only gets down to a few situations. Now, this changes a little bit if you're in a 1v1 and you don't trade damage. So let's say, for example, when I was fighting Hambino earlier today, and we had that fight on Miramar. He headshot me. I didn't headshot him. I can't reposition off that. Right? So that's out. I can't. I can peek again to stop him from pushing me. Or I can heal. Right? Those are the two options. So if, if you're the aggressor that does the damage, you have to think in, into your head. Okay, is he going to heal? And if he heals, do I have time to get to that cover? Or that next piece of cover to get closer to him? And then you also have the idea of... Okay, I did the damage. If he's going to heal, I'm going to reposition and get that side angle, which is what I did on Sandhawk earlier today. Or when I was fighting him, you know, he headshot me and he knew he headshot me, but he didn't have the ability to push me too much. So he had to sit there and just peek and peek again. And it was kind of one of those weird things where you're playing that game with yourself just to kind of see your options. But it's when you break it down, it's super simple. Like there's only so many options and you just need to gauge which one's best. And, and that's why a lot of times, even if you're watching fights, you'll even say, or even if you're watching me and I'm playing, sometimes I'm like, okay, if I get a headshot, I'm, I'm, ch I'm going after this guy. Or something along those lines. Because that's kind of uh, the way you want to do it. But in the situation that you showed me, Sneak, bro, you are in a complete rock, paper, scissors. Because you headshot him and he headshots you. And I have to give you props. Because initially, when he headshots you, rather than healing... And losing the fight, guaranteed losing the fight, you re-peaked to put damage on him. And that's the big dick play there. Oh, fuck, I'm headshot. Fuck, it doesn't matter. I'm going to headshot you also. And you, and you put the damage back on him. It's a cool clip. It's a cool clip to kind of look at that um, and just take the 1v1 and like the fucking mind games of it. It's fucking dope. I enjoyed it. All right, let's watch the end of this fight. We didn't even get to watch the end of it. Paint, hello? Don't say, do you want to save? I do, actually. He's got to heal. He's got to heal. He's got the first aid. Because Luke gets the first aid, and you, and you repeat. saw that he at least hit Luke. Maybe he's going for a heal, but Sneak Attack's still playing very cautious. Switching oh, and Luke gets the, the reposition. Up, it's nice that you get to recover again. this. I wouldn't prone like here, though. He's going to finally go for that first aid. I mean, you get your first aid. I guess it's not that bad. Uncivil, oh, Uncivil perfect. going for the information yep. play. Yep. Throw the nade on my body. Do it now. Hey, you, you, he you got the flush. flush. You got the flush. When you see a body crawling towards you. By the way, that's the correct answer. Going for the flush there is right. You have to kill that guy. You don't peek the other guy because you lose that fight every, every single time. So in that situation, if there's somebody crawling to you, you have to kill them because they're giving info and you don't know where the other guy is. So you have to put that guy down. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, guys, I'm going to be honest, fun stream, uh, but that's going to do it for us today.